Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony. Welcome to another film review. Today, we were reviewing Matt Parrott. This is the start, I think week nine or week six, whatever, in Washington, or I think we're home, where we uh, we started him because of Andrew Thomas's mishaps. So let's just go play by play and uh, see what we can find. Golden Tate on the inside, pretty nice. You have uh, with a CJ Borg going on in motion. So I like this right here. What he does well is that first punch and attack, keeping the hands on the inside, Leaning a little bit, but still good. Let's see how he moves his feet. Not great. I like to see him uh, move his feet a little bit quicker. Not open up enough. Kind of go at him a little bit more. Quick pass. So this is a good play by Matt Parrott. He knows his assignment. You have Deion Lewis. Uh, got signaled. Uh, came back to the inside. He takes the inside guy. Lets these two free guys run. Knows the play. And Daniel Jones throws it over the top. And uh, here he goes. Here we go, Matt Parrott going up against Montez Sweat, a pretty underrated player, and just keeps keeps his hands locked on him just in time. It's a running play, but uh, keeps his ground, and a uh, good play by him. So something I do like about him is his strength. He uses his arm length really well, and just locks on to him, keeps his hands nice to the inside. And uh, this is, I mean, his hands are going up on his uh, his face mask or whatever, Keeps solid, doesn't allow any push. So this is the play to the right side, our left, and you see Matt Parrott already getting out. He's quick, um, but you know 97's guard, so he tries to get 53. You have to get on the uh, other edge of him, I think. I think what uh, Matt Parrott is trying to plan for is a cut back by uh, whoever that is, um, Alfred Morris, whoever it is, but he doesn't quite get there. Okay, so here we go. Now Matt Parrott is playing the right side. This is pretty much what our offensive line is going to look like this year almost. Uh, number 49, there's another run play. Pushes him to the ground. I like it. Keep on moving his feet. It look, I think he needs more confidence uh, when playing. Like, literally, if you're just just sit on him. I think that's Isaiah Simmons. No, it's not Isaiah Simmons. Just sit on him. That's Hassan Reddick, maybe? Just sit on him. All right, now he's going up against little Marcus Golden right here. Uh, let's let's wait for Daniel Jones. Take your time, Daniel Jones. It's fine. It's fine. Here we go. Here's the play. Kick slide, kick slide. Look, he needs to be... His kick slide, he, he has kind of like an Eric Flowers-ish drop back. And then he gets skinny right here. And now Mark's going to do multiple things. First of all, he can beat you on the outside. Take a look at how compromising a position it is. Now Mark Zone just comes back and he had a free run at Daniel Jones. What he does really well is those initial movements. Take a look at this. Boom. Okay, now you're balling him off. You, you know, let's see how he does. Now, I wish he would have came a little bit more so you opened up that hole for your running back to go through. But, you know, he would have went, went the other way anyway. And then... So usually he knows what to do. So, yeah, Marcus Golden shifts to the inside. You, you That's your guy. You guard him. You block him. See what he does, he keeps his hand, he puts his hands on the outside of Marcus Golden. So now all he has to do is bull rush, keep his hands on the inside. That leaves Matt Parrott in a really vulnerable state and allows Marcus Golden to have a free rush on Daniel. See, his kick slide makes him look really off balance. Take a look at this. I feel like I can just push him over right here. See how much of a on his heels he is. Um, but yeah, so he does a good job here, reading it, passing it off to Will or uh, Zeitler, and then you know, getting up on 94, maybe a little bit of a hold there, but you can't credit him for the sack. Let's move on. Matt Parrott, number 43, does a pretty good job. Now, he's always, it always feels like he's off balance, right? You know, he has that, he's keeping his one for the outside, not really that parallel. Take a look at Thomas. He's nice and even, ready to punch, ready to punch, but Matt Parrott, his right foot's a little bit too far to the side. That I think that's creating a little bit of unbalance. Number 43 realizes that. Now he has long arms. Gets him to the inside. That's good. Relying a little bit too much on the long arms here. And then gets just purely beat to the outside. This is this is the play where he leans a whole bunch. 94. Just, just makes him look like a fool. Oh, we'll play one more time here. But it just makes him look like a complete fool right here. Whoop. Nope. I, this one is not his fault. It's more Kevin Zeitler's fault. You know, Kevin Zeitler is trying to push it off to Matt Parrott, maybe overcompensating for it. Golden's like, oh, wait, Zeitler's passing it off to me. And then Zeitler allows a free rush to Golden. Hassan Reddick ends up getting the sack. Was that Thomas? Did Thomas just get beat on this play? Yeah. You know, sometimes even the you know, guy dipped. That was a really good play by Hassan. 
Dang. All right, let's get back into Matt Parrott. Okay, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. This is Matt Parrott's worst moments of his career. Let's take a look at it. Um, Judon just beats him around the edge. He, you know, let, let's watch it one more time. Or we'll watch it a couple times. Kick slide, gets his hands on him, and then basically he's not quick enough laterally to beat the, uh, you know, to beat Judon right here. At least he doesn't have the strength to push him away. He kind of just lets him get around the edge. At this point, push him. And he doesn't. Now the Ravens are going to get a little creative with it. Same same mistake from a previous game, except Zeitler does push 93 into 99. He does read the play. And Matt Parrott doesn't. And Daniel Jones gets sacked for a second play in a row. A second play in a row. Now, this is actually the third play in a row. This is not his fault. He gets number 93. He gets his guy. It's just that the Ravens did something a little creative here and uh, not his fault. I think a lot of his problem is just confidence in his pass sets. We'll slow it down right here. You know, number nine, he's getting number 92. He throws Zeitler down. But just use your strength, man. Use it. Come on. You know, I feel like he's a little bit passive here. Also, what he needs to work on is his hands and feet. Move your feet, move your feet, move your feet. He's not, you know, he's not moving his feet right here. He's relying too much on his arms and the distance where he's not pushing that defender back. Push him back. You know, he, I don't think he's using both as, that well. There we go. Push him. You got it. Good play. Open up in a hole. Nice one once again. I like it. This play is not his fault. Devin White's just a beast, and he's quick. That's right. Show JPP who's boss. He needs to work better on the hand fighting. It feels like he's just loose too consistently where guys could be able to dip and rip, but that's a pretty good job here. Making a hole. I like it. Stonewalls him right here. If he's the right tackle, number 92, boom. Like it. We haven't talked too much about pad level, but I like his pad level here. It's just uh, he keeps his head down. I want you to keep your head up. Head down too much. Now, we're just focused on reps here. You know, we're just focused on reps. See what would have happened here. Against Shaq Barrett. Opens up his hips good. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit too, uh, ant I guess, anti-parallel to, uh, to the offensive line. Opens up that window. Shaq Barrett, what I think would have had him there. Again, Shaq Barrett once again dips underneath. I mean, that's the thing about being six foot nine or however tall he is. Guys can get around you. This one, Shaq Barrett gets his hands right in the middle, able to push him back. I like this play right here. Drives him right to the ground. Boom. One more time. There he is. Boom. Against a bad pass rusher, whoever the hell this is, you know, just really good pad, really good pad level, moving his feet. But again, head maybe a little bit too far down. See how he does that? That fool, you know, that doesn't work against experienced pass rushers because they'll just spin. They know how to do it. But his long arms kind of help him. This play actually pretty smart. Passes it off. But see, when he leans too much, it feels like he stops moving his feet. And that's where he gets in trouble. I'll slow this motion, this one. Passes it off. Now good. Head down. Stops moving his feet. 